50 to 88 percent of massage therapists burn out within the first three to five years maybe you just got your license you got bright eyes you're thinking this is going to be great well what are you going to do to not become 50 to 88 percent of people who burn out within the first three to five years do you have a plan is your health in check do you know how to heal yourself do you know how to pace yourself do you have a strategy of how to get out of the spa if they're working you five, six, seven, eight, God forbid, more clients every single day? I don't even recommend doing more than 15 to 20 massages a week to avoid burnout. You see, massage therapy isn't something that you can do full time. If you're doing over 20 sessions a week, you're going to start feeling fatigue, muscle soreness. You're going to, you're going to bring that energy into your sessions and your patients aren't going to get the best therapy that they can now i learned this from firsthand experience i was doing 25 to 30 sessions when i first started every week and i started getting pain all over my body shoulders neck back and i compensated to try to heal in so many dysfunctional ways eating late at night my sleep quality went down because i ate late at night i wasn't foam rolling I wasn't doing cupping on myself. I wasn't taking my healing medicated baths. I wasn't going into the ocean. I wasn't doing my yoga. See, and I didn't have super herbs. I didn't have super herbs to help me recover. The anti-inflammatories, the rasayanas, the tonics. I didn't have my routine on lock. And I almost quit multiple, multiple times. And you know, this is my sixth year in the industry. I consider myself very blessed, very successful because I didn't quit. I stuck with it and I have my own business. I have my own clientele and I only work 10 to 15 hours a week making around $50,000 a year. That's me. I could make more. I've had years where I made more, but I'm at a point where I'm investing and my main priority is investing in creating this online business for you guys so that you guys can learn how to take care of yourselves, so that you guys can feel full-fledged and full of energy and power and enthusiasm to heal. And so massage therapy doesn't have to be an industry where you burn out. Think about that. 50 to 88% of people are going to burn out. All that time that you invested in money that you invested into your degree. You don't want that to happen. So what's your strategy is what I'm saying. You have to have a strategy for your body and you have to have a strategy for your business. Because if the business is going to ask you to work over four clients a day, over 20 therapy sessions a week, or if you have to work that many to make ends meet, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard. You have to have a strategy for how to get your own clientele. And that's what I want to talk about today. How to have your own concierge massage therapy business. I'm going to tell you how I did it. It's not rocket science. It's not something special. You don't have to be anyone special. I'm certainly not anybody special, especially five, six years ago. All I had was a couple basic skills and a basic strategy that I discovered just by doing it. And then you can have your own clientele. You can make your own schedule so that you're not overworked. You can work with who you want and you don't even have to pay a lot for marketing at all. At all. All I do is pay a small referral fee for people who spread my business card my number by word of mouth that's it i don't do any facebook ads youtube ads none of that it's all word of mouth and then you reward the people who who spread your name so you want to start your own massage therapy business and break free what do you do well this is what i did i worked for i'll call it like a spa i worked for stretch zone for a year so you work for a spa or anywhere that you're going to get high traffic. You're going to meet a lot of people, right? And you give them your best. You know, if they want to meet you and talk, you talk to them. If they don't, you don't. But you just give them what they need. So you got to really work on yourself. Make sure you got the skills. Make sure maybe you even have a little niche, a specialty. My specialty was stretching and mobility. Stretch zone. So they come in and they want to increase their mobility. I stretch them better than any of the practitioners there. I developed my own stretches. 
I gave them little handouts with stretches uh, after a conversation if they wanted to begin a routine of stretching on their own. See, that's value add. That made me different from other people because I'm giving them a transformation. I painted the picture in their mind. You're coming to me after eight weeks, your flexibility is going to look like this. You're going to be able to put your head, your your leg this much further. You're gonna be able to squat this much further. Your balance is gonna be this much better because I'm gonna give you exercises to increase your balance. You know, so I would test their functional movement before they get on the table and I'd show them how it's gonna translate into real the real world. Oh, your back, your back is hurting? Hmm, what does that take you away from? You find how it's damaging their life, their lifestyle, and then you show them you know, if we could take that away, what would that mean to you? Well, that would mean I could play with my kid again. That that would mean I would be able to do my work again. That would mean I would have better sleep. How much is that worth to you? Because this is what you're doing. You're solving their problem. You're giving them a transformation. You got to show them, you know, you're not just coming to me for a session. Over the course of sessions, over the course of weeks, this is what you're going to get. You're going to trans. Your life is going to transform. Your life is going to change. And then you deliver. That's basically it. That sets you apart from the person who just wants to come in, do one session. Um, the client feels a little bit better, but they don't have in their mind the journey, the quest, the, the, the result that they're getting, a transformation. So they don't feel as inspired. It could even work if you just did that well. But what's even better is when you see what they really want and why. Highlight to them what they're losing by not having it highlight to them what they're going to get and then how you're going to give it to them look we're going to have to do two sessions a week to get you this much more mobility to fix your back pain and i'm going to have to ask you to do these exercises twice a week i'm going to have to get you to drink more water and after eight weeks of this program you're going to see this result your back pain is going to be gone you're gonna have more energy. You're gonna sleep better. You're gonna feel better throughout your day. Your back isn't gonna hurt when you sit down in your car. And then you just deliver. So you do that for a year and you're gonna have a name. You're gonna be a little bit better than other people because you made a niche. You made a niche. Now, your niche could be you help with uh, digestive issues you know how to do gastrointestinal massage you could specialize in lymphatic massage i recommend you have a specialty so people think oh this guy he knows his stuff he's an expert in this one area so really study make yourself different in one area deliver a transformation learn how to communicate to your patients what they're going to get and another thing is for them to really see the value they have to see what they're missing if they don't take you up on the offer. Like, if you don't take me up on this offer, what is having a bad back gonna cost you? A lot of people will come to me with bad shoulders, bad backs. Well, what is that gonna cost you? How is that taking away from your life right now? Once they say that and really register in their mind, they're saying, oh wow, this guy's gonna solve this problem for me. This is valuable. They're going to commit. They're going to do it. And once you deliver those results, they're going to love you. They're going to love you. They're going to think, wow, he saved me from missing days at work. He saved me from not being able to go and play with my kids. He saved me from just feeling miserable all day. So anyways, you do that for a year. You're going to know a lot of people and then leave and let everybody know what you're doing. Say, I'm starting my own concierge massage therapy business. If you value our service, here's my card. I come to people's houses and we can continue if you'd like. That's it. You're gonna get some clients. If you did a good job, you're gonna get some clients. They'll follow you. From there, you have your skills, you have your niche, you have a little following. Just keep it up. Word of mouth is gonna spread, but what else I recommend, just gonna grab my stuff from the car and go in. We're gonna edit some videos now. What, another thing I recommend is going to country clubs, spas, resorts, gyms, 
anywhere your ideal clientele is going to be. You got to figure out where they are. Once you know where they are, go to that place and talk to the manager about doing free demonstrations and partner with them. Start doing free demonstrations to meet more and more and more people. I recommend you work there as an independent contractor, you know, not as an employee. Make a deal. You know, they keep 80, you keep 20. Make whatever deal you have to make. I think the industry standard is more around like they keep 40, you keep 60. They're going to try and keep as much as possible, of course. But, you know, you can walk away because you're giving them free value. Think about it. You don't cost anything. You're just getting, you're just coming in, signing people up. They just got additional revenue, right? So don't let them be greedy. Don't let them take more than like 30%, guys. That's, that's BS. Don't let them be greedy. You have to make a living. Let them know you got to make a living. This isn't an easy industry. It's manual labor. It's emotional labor. So keep 70% at least. Go in there. Do free demos. Get people on your table. Introduce yourself. Tell them what you've done. Have some testimonials. Meet more people. More, more, more people. What's going to happen there is um, you just have more potential clients because you know what happens in massage therapy is people start working with you at the location. But what happens is after they're comfortable with you, they're going to be curious. Hey, can you come to my house? It always happens. All of my clients moved to being at their house because it's just more convenient for them. So do that. Do that. Become an independent contractor somewhere. Go meet a lot of people. Deliver your value. Eventually, they're going to ask you to come to their house. Boom, you have your own client. And these clients can be clients for years. How do you keep clients for years? You have to love them. Not only do you have to show them emotionally that you love them, you're delivering time and time again with excellent service. You're showing up on time. You go out of your way to get them birthday presents. Consider these people like your lifeline. These people are going to create your ability to support yourself. Baby them, pamper them, go 110%. You know what I'm saying? Because they really do keep you alive. They keep you alive. So be special. Think about them. Write down their birthdays. Think about their kids. Get their kids little things here and there. Because... This is how you show people that you love them. It's not even about business. It's about really finding people that you can serve and serving them in the best possible way. Pretend like it wasn't about money. I know money is a thing, but really just pretend like you were rich and uh, you didn't need to do this for the money. Would you still do it? Now that's a question. Because if you can say yes to that, then what you do is really put your heart into it and make it an art. You make it as special as you can. You just want to be with them and talk to them and treat them like a real person. And so that's what, that's what people want anyways. You know what I'm saying? So there you go. You got a year working in a spa. You got a couple of years being independent contractors at country clubs where your ideal clients are. Eventually, you know, you let them know, oh, I'm coming from my other tenants my other clients who have me working at their place at their house and um you know that's a way to just let them know look you come to people's houses it'll work and that's how you build up your client base you know i recommend going to a gym giving all the trainers free sessions letting them know what you specialize in and then the trainers let them know hey if you send me people who need my service I'll give you 10% of either the first session or the first package that they make. So they're thinking, why wouldn't I do this? You know, they're helping their client. They're going to make money. They secretly want this. They want this. It's an additional stream of income for them. So talk to the gatekeepers, whoever is going to be meeting your people. For me, it was trainers. So I met a lot of trainers and I gave a lot of trainers a lot of free sessions. They like me. They see my value. They recommend their clients to me. Free advertising. Well, almost free. You're going to give them 10% of the first session or the first package. And really reward them. Reward them because this is your marketing. Sometimes marketing 
you have to pay so much for marketing. But this is the easy, this is the easy form of marketing. What is this? Aloe vera. So, what else? What else? Um, this is this is marketing in a nutshell, guys. You know, I recommend you get a Google uh, web page so they can get Google reviews. It takes a couple minutes, and then just ask everybody who you work with to give you a review. Start getting reviews. You'll get a couple calls from them. You'll get some calls from Google. And that builds credibility. Whenever you uh, get a new client, show them your Google profile before you meet them. Let them check you out. They're going to see, oh, this guy has 45 star ratings. Okay, boom. You have credibility in their mind. They're going to see all the reviews. This guy improved my mobility. This guy knows about the body. This guy is polite. And I love this guy. I've been working with him for five years. What does that do? That's going to build trust. And you're going to be able to make them into a long-term client that much easier okay so that's basically what i do in a nutshell show up and uh, have good energy every day take care of yourself you know even apart from your technical skill a big part of this job is showing up with happy energy you know good energy you feel good inside you know they feel that you're happy you're happy to be there. You're happy to bless them. You're enthusiastic about your work. You're, you're well slept. You don't feel achy. Your digestion is good. You didn't just eat lunch and you're lethargic and not wanting to give them a massage. No, you show up with good energy. Serve, have fun doing it. Guys, if you're not having fun doing this job, you gotta change. I'm not saying quit. I'm saying change what you're doing because you can feel good doing this job. Do it for you. You got to do it for you. Do it for you. Think about how you feel during every session. Are you enjoying the process? This is your life. You have to enjoy the process of your life. Nobody wants somebody working on them who isn't, who's doing it unwillingly, grudgingly, like a slave. No, we need therapists out there who are enjoying the peace and serenity of healing another human being, raising their consciousness, bringing their body and their mind to a place of tranquility, healing emotional wounds even. This stuff is really valuable. So you should feel good about what you're doing. You should physically and mentally feel good about it. Work on that and the quality of your service and your life will improve. I'm just gathering my stuff here. This is my trunk. All my junk inside my trunk. So guys, uh, think about this. Let me know what questions you have. I'm sure there's a lot of little details. Feel free to ask me about the little details because this is not rocket science. All you gotta do is have some competence, have some love and uh, some persistence. Just stick in the game, take care of yourself, deliver. And uh, don't be afraid to get out there, even if you're a little bit afraid. Who cares if you fail? Who cares? If you get out there, you're going to get some wins and you're going to lose a lot. Who cares if you lose a lot? You're getting some wins. It's better than not trying. All right, guys. Let me know what you think. Ask me your questions. I'm here for you. More content coming up soon. Uh -huh.